is a Honda CBR 600 F4i. Uh, it doesn't look like one, it's been altered a bit. We've run a Suzuki GSX-R1000 front end in it. Got protection on the sides. We build these cages to protect the engine. We smashed the tank in, so you've got somewhere to sit. It's inside here, it's all been reinforced. It's all sturdy. Got a hole in the back seat. It's normally where the, the back leg goes. But the rear sprocket down there, you can notice the size of it. It actually helps the bike get into the wheelie. The engine uh, idles better, stronger. Brakes are a really big part of a stunt bike. Actually running two four-spot calipers. I had a bracket machined up from Extreme Creations and we come up with putting the front disc rotor to the rear. This bike operates a, a handbrake, so we've got a line going up to the handlebars which you, you can actually operate your back brake from the handlebars when your legs are nowhere near the back brake and when you're sitting down you've still got the back brake, so you've got best of both worlds, two sets of brakes. Well there you have it folks, the Honda CBR600 Sartso Killer Dune stunt bike ridden by Mark Peschel from Team Serving Up Australia. Sato jeans, if you haven't got a pair, buy a pair.